Hello everyone and welcome to Roadmap. So today's topic is plant tissue culture part 5 and if you like the video don't forget to click on thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe for more video updates. The topics to be covered are culture of isolated single cells that are single cell clones. After that filter paper raft nurse tissue technique. Then the micro chamber technique. Then the micro drop method and the Berg Bergman's plating technique. So culture of isolated single cells. Now what is a clone? You, this must be a question arising to you, right? So a clone is a mass of cells, uh, all of them which are derived through mitosis from a single cell. The cells of the clones are expected to be identical uh, with the regard of genotype or karyotype and the changes in the cells may occur after cloning. So single cells are separated from plant tissues under suitable conditions and they can form clones. So there are various methods which are used for isolation of single cells and uh, the examples such as the filter paper raft nurse te tissue technique, then the micro chamber technique, micro drop method and the Bergman's plating technique. So let's learn one by one in detail about them. Now coming to the filter paper raft nurse tissue technique. In this technique, small pieces of sterile filter papers are placed on established callus cultures for several days before the start of single cell culture. So the single cell culture is placed on the filter paper and the filter paper is weighted by the exudates from callus tissue by diffusion and it supplies the nutrients to the single cell. The cell then divides and forms colonies uh, on the filter paper. So these colonies can be isolated and cultured. So in this way, the filter paper raft nurse technique is used uh, is done. Now coming to the micro chamber technique. In micro chamber technique, a microscopic slide or a cover slip can be used to create a micro chamber. Now sometimes a cavity slide may be used directly for this purpose. And a drop of medium containing a single cell is placed in the micro chamber. Then the drop of mineral oil is placed on either side of the culture drop which is covered with a cover slip. And on incubation, single cell colonies are formed. So in this method, this is the actual protocol which is used for micro chamber technique. Now coming to the micro drop method. Now for the culture of single cells by micro drop method, a specially designed dish called cuprac dish is used. And it has a small outer chamber which is to be filled with sterile distilled water and a large inner chamber with a number of micro wells. So the well density of the medium is adjusted in such a way that it contains one cell per droplet. Now coming to the Bergman's plating technique. Bergman in 1960 developed a technique for cloning of single cells. And nowadays Bergman's plating, plating technique is widely used method for culture of isolated single cells. And the cell suspension is filtered through a sieve uh, to obtain single cells in the filtrate. The free cells are suspended in a liquid medium at a density twice than the required density for cell plating and the equal volumes of melted agar 30 to 30, 35 degrees centigrade and medium containing cells are mixed. Then the agar medium with single cells is poured and spread out in the petri dish so that the cells are evenly distributed on a thin layer of agar after it solidifies and the petri dishes that is the cultural dishes are sealed with a parafilm and incubated at 25 degrees centigrade in dark or diffuse sunlight and the single cells divide and develop into clones. Now, now the viability of the cells should be checked in single clones, right? So the viability of sing, uh, cells in single clones can be measured by the techniques which are used for the suspension cultures. Now the techniques which are used for suspension culture are events, blue staining, then the phase contrast microscopy and fluorescent diacetate method. Already in my previous video I have covered with these techniques so you can check the concepts and you can check the video and just clear your concepts and have a depth analysis of them.
Now this is the diagram which is showing growth of single cells using a nurse technique. In this technique a single cell is taken from a friable callus which is placed on upper surface of filter paper which is in contact with the nurse callus and then the single cell divides and daughter cells proliferate to form colony. When the colony reaches a suitable size it is transferred to fresh medium where it gives rise to a single cell clone. So this is the method which is used for raft nurse technique. Now this is a figure which shows the procedure for obtaining single cell clones using a petri dish plating technique. In this uh, procedure what happens exactly is the callus tissue is taken in the suspension culture. Then the aseptic filtration of cell suspension through bolting cloth is done to remove the larger cell aggregates. And then further the suspension of free cells and small cell aggregates. And uh, then the cell suspension is mixed with cool liquid agar medium and then it is allowed to, uh, the mixture is allowed poured into the uh, sterile petri dishes to give layer of 1 mm thick. And then afterwards, after 21 days at 25 degrees cell, uh, centigrade, colonies develop which can be used to initiate the single cell clones. Now, this is a figure which shows the microchamber used to observe the growth of single cells. Now, in this, the uh, first the cover slip is taken or maybe the cavity slide can be directly used and then the drop of medium containing a single cell is placed in the microchamber and a drop of mineral oil is placed on either side of the cultural drop which is covered with a cover slip and on incubation the single cell colonies are formed. So this is it for today. I hope that you are enjoying the video and stay tuned for more lessons to come. If you have any doubts feel free to ask in the comment section below and uh, subscribe for more video updates and uh, thank you for watching.